So let's get to the trailer that a lot of you guys are here waiting for. Uh, let's do Sajan Singh Rangroot. Did I pronounce that right? Did I get close? Sajan Singh Rangroot. Hope I got close. This is a Punjabi trailer. So let us check out. Oh. 100% right, or close enough. Okay, well, I'll accept both of them. <laughs> I do not have English subtitles on this. So it's three minutes. Hopefully there isn't too much dialogue. If there is, let me know. Oh, that, there you go, subtitles. See, intense in his face. Mm. World War One. Hey, which regiment? Lahore Regiment, Indian British Army. Do these men even know how to handle their rifles? But do Pardigal Garde, they are going to see Bina Baduk to pitch your cheese here. It is very bad. That's a nice shot with the wheat. We must win this war! I like some of the techniques they're doing to reduce cost. That looks good. I like the music too. So let's see, let me see this. I like the practical explosions. There was a plane. I want to see the plane again. Where was the plane? Hmm. There was a plane. I can't remember where that shot was. But anyway, so there's things that they're doing to reduce cost but still maintain the um, the look of 
the period piece. So like a lot of you know, I love period pieces. I like seeing all of the things that are accurate to the time. But you can tell that they couldn't afford a lot of things in the background. So you have scenes like a lot of, well, a lot of outdoor shots because it takes place outside. But you have a lot of scenes like this that are kind of, you know, around the ditches, um, close-ups. I like this shot, though. This is a really good shot. Really shows the devastation of the area. But they also, the, a lot of the story is going to take place in one location. So they don't have to spend too much money in a lot. So I think about probably half the movie is going to take place, or at least a third of it will take place at this, uh, at this camp where they're training, this training camp. Because we have a lot of stories from them inside at their bunkers. I like this shot with the wheat. You get the wind going over the wheat, the people in the background. I like the look of it. It's very cleanly shot, nice light, very a lot of natural light with a yellow tint. Everything's got like a yellow tint to it, which uh, a lot of times you do that for like a vintage feel, but it also brings warmth to the, the lighting. It looks it, like very warm and inviting, and but even the war stuff has a yellow tint to it, very, very warm. But then when you get into like a lot of the war stuff, you have more blues and darker colors. You have cold, very cold colors. I do like that they're using a lot of practical, practical explosions, practical, you know, like they're using um, squibs and, you know, they're not, they're not doing CGI and adding sound for gunshots. Well, they are adding sound for the gunshots, but I mean, you've got blanks in there. So you have like real reactions of sounds from the actors and yeah. Actually looks pretty darn good. Writing is going to be important. They've got a very intricate story going on. It's not just about these It's not just about these guys in the military fighting in World War 1. You know, it's it's got that love story about the woman that's back home for him, the story of all of these all of these Indians and having to deal with the racism that's around them. You know, we had in the US, we had the same kind of thing with the Civil War having uh blacks fighting in the Civil War. There was still a lot of racism around that. Um but you have them fighting that. You have them fighting the Germans. You've got to talk about the war aspect. So I, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the story. I would like to see how they balance it. I would like to see how they're going to balance all of these storylines and make sure that they're cohesive. So, yeah, I like it. But what do you guys think? Let me know right here. You don't have to put it in the comments below. You can tell me right here. Color saturation. Yeah, but also the lighting and the filters that they used. For some of those more blue cold shots, it looks like they color graded it. And same with the yellows. But this this shot right here, this last one I was on, that doesn't look like it was color graded too much. I mean, it was... Out, Everything is color graded because they use a raw format. But I mean, like, it doesn't like they 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 didn't try to add more color to get a different type of feel for it. 
Quick promotion, everybody. I'm having fun using the Stardust app, which allows you to make up to a 30 second reaction to movies and TV shows. And I'd love to see your reactions and put them in my videos. If you're interested in that, download the Stardust app. I've got a link to it in the description below. And make sure to follow Coracon. And whenever you make a reaction, make sure that you tag Coracon so that I get notified and can see it. Whenever I make a reaction video or a movie review, and I see your video, I will take clips from it and put them in my video. If you're a YouTuber, make sure to put your YouTube channel name on your reaction if you want free promotion. And if you're a fan of my channel and just want to be in there, great. So tag me on your reactions. And to be totally transparent and honest with you guys, when you download the Stardust app, the first person that you follow gets credit for the download. So if you want to follow me and give me credit, make sure that you follow me first. If you want to give your favorite YouTuber a credit, make sure that you follow them first. But either way, make sure that you follow me at some point and tag me in your reactions so I can get them in the videos.